Welcome, welcome to the home of all things ballroom dance. So today I'm gonna to cover last night's results for the Dancing with the Stars 2023 at season semifinal, okay? So we're down to five couples. I'm gonna cover the results, why each dancer placed where they did. Um, I'll tell you this, uh, biggest shock of the night they, it's the first time I've seen this, they brought all five semifinalists back to the final round next week. So I think that's kind of cool. And it was wonderful to see, the, see all the joy in their faces. I think every single one of them cried. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, and next, most fabulous thing last night, best music by far this season. Um, two songs were played too fast, but it was overall danceable um, to proper tempo, somewhat characteristic of what you would hear in a real ballroom dance competition. Um, and final super happy thing last night, it was the most real dancing I have ever seen. All the dances were legit ballroom dances. You know that floats my boat. Um, and I saw the most real ballroom dance identifiable figures, not just a bunch of posing, fabulous. Loved it. Okay, so in first place last night, we have the beautiful Sochi dancing with Val. Each couple did two dances. So her first dance um, was a rumba. Um, as always, lovely, soft uh, top line. I love that her her um, chest was forward to her partner. She had great extension and completion of her shapes. Um, impeccable timing. So I, I think they're a great partnership. And honestly, most um, important, I love the energy she exudes on the floor. Just totally joyful in every practice and every lesson and on the floor. I love that. Um, okay, and then she did a waltz, okay? So, um, unfortunately, this was not her strongest dance um, of the season. Probably one of the weakest, actually. But for her, it still looked great. Um, so, uh, she has beautiful bending leg action and back flexibility, but I noticed in her waltz um, last night, whenever she does a continuity figure, meaning a linear figure where the feet pass, 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 she's almost dead straight in the legs. This is um, takes out the flight and makes you really stiff in the movement. So that was kind of a surprise, but still lovely. I would have had her on first overall as well. Okay, second place, the beautiful Charity and Artem. Okay, so as we know, Charity is a ringer. They're not saying anything about it on the show, but she's definitely a trained dancer. Perhaps not ballroom dance, but this is not her first rodeo. Honestly, this was the weakest dancing, some of the weakest dancing I've seen from her this season. Um, so um, maybe she's just getting mentally burned out from having to learn so much every week. It was still lovely. Um, I still would have had her in second as well. So um, it's, it's bad for her standards. She's very talented. Um, in her rumba, she had a very stiff upper back, which is unusual for her. She also had a very upright sternum with her head almost on back of her pelvis. And in the Latin dances, um, because I'm farther apart from my partner, I would want more of a forward posture. I don't know if you can um, see this so forward, upright. So her posture was great for walking around Safeway grocery shopping, not so great for centering to the partner. We always want to have a common center to the partner. We're biologically built to just dance on our own axis, but when we're totally connected to that other body, we need to move that axis forward to between you and your partner. So that's something unusual we need to get used to in ballroom dance, which makes me think she maybe has not had a lot of partner dance experience, but still lovely. Um, and next she did a quick step, um, probably my favorite dance to do. Um, she did not connect her partner even one time. Okay, so a quick step is an international standard dance. Totally my jam. She was probably... Uh, Oh heavens, I was, I was just, I was surprised, honestly. Um, 
everyone kind of, even though her pro is a trained Latin dancer, he should know that she could connect him, which makes me think perhaps there was just a talent or ability issue there. Um, so, mm, not so good. Um, okay, next up. Ariana and Pasha in third place. Love this couple. Unfortunately, Ariana this week again is nursing a back injury. And it was pretty obvious in her in both her dances. Um, the judges did mention this, and in my opinion, they took that into consideration when giving her her marks. Because I, I probably would not have had her behind Jason. But I do like that they gave her a bit of a handicap in her marks. Um, because one can only do so much on an injury. That is the downside of this show compared to real ballroom dancing. Several of these dancers by now are working very hard, injured, and the injuries are just gonna get worse when they keep hammering hard with many, many hours of dancing a day, seven days a week. But you know what? They'll be done in a few weeks, so I'm sure they'll eventually recover. Okay, so their first dance was a jive. Um, feet were slightly turned in, um, I'll just, I'll, I'm not even going to mention her back line because obviously she's nursing an injury, but in, I'll just look at the legs, um, and the arms. She had turn in often and, and usually you want to have turn out in the Latin dances. So this would be feet turned in. This would be feet turned out. Okay. Even in your kicks, you want to extend your leg line, right? You don't want to like take it into you. We don't want an insular self energy on the calm floor. We want to pow, look at me and take over the floor. Turnout helps with that in the Latin. Okay. Uh, next up, she did a foxtrot. Now, um, her pro, Pasha, is the most experienced ballroom dancer on the floor. He competed in international standard with me for uh, many years um, at the championship level. So I knew this that they would crush this dance. They did great. Um, they did a combo of American international style. Um, beautiful. I, I don't even know where to start. Um, set aside the back injury. I, I won't cover that. But she still um, showed a beautiful flexibility in her neck and impeccable timing. So love that. It wasn't just um, a straight, slow, quick, quick, slow, but she actually milked out the dancing. So one, two, three, four. So more of a wave action rather than um, a straight timing action, which you would see more in the bronze level of competition. It's not wrong. It's just not as musical, not as lovely, not indicative of a foxtrot. Okay, fourth place, we have Jason and Daniela. So they did a Viennese waltz. Um, he had amazing extension in his arms. Unfortunately, he was too high in the legs. So that's gonna suck out an organic top line and make his top line kind of um, topply. Um, so he also, I noticed they did some basic reverse turns, which is fabulous bronze figure, but his body rolled on top of her. So it looked more like a samba roll um, rather than a Viennese waltz. Um, generally in these ballroom dances, you want your head behind your butt and your knees under the partner. Um, whereas he looked more like he was doing a Latin dance. So um, you, it, the movement was just not characteristic of what you would expect to see in a Viennese waltz. Um, okay, and then they did a pasta doble. Now, first of all, in their defense, the music was way too fast. This was not competition speed, okay? Um, so the body was too upright. They did have great rotation and timing. I wish in this dance he could have hit the staccato music action with his hand, so kapow, rather than eh? But again, in his defense, the music was too fast, which makes it harder to hit those complete lines with a staccato body action instead of a legato body, body action and hit them on time. Okay, in fifth place, um, as usual, rounding up the rear, we have Allison. I love that she's a fighter, um, dancing with Sasha. And they did a jive. It was strange choreo. It was very strange choreography, especially considering that Sasha's a Latin dancer. I would have expected more real jive. It was more like jazz, but perhaps that was catering to Alice's, Allison's weaknesses. In my opinion, she is the least talented of the remaining competitors. Um, I, I would expect a bent leg action. Um, in your jive. Um, and her legs were straight almost the whole time. So um, 
that was fair marks. Um, and finally, she danced a waltz. Um, and for her, this was the best dancing she's done this season with these two dances. So um, I love that she continues to improve. Um, although she and her waltz had dropped elbows, generally you want them up instead of down. So um, that's unfortunate. Um, and her arms were shaping solely from the sockets instead of the whole complete arm, elbow, wrist. So when she would do a shape out to her partner, it would go, hopefully we can see this. <laughs> kind of like waving an airplane in old school or a cheerleader. Um, but you know what? I love her attitude. She was so thrilled to make that final. She knows she has an uphill battle against these other more experienced dancers. So they're all doing amazing. Um, and we get to see all five of them in the season finale next weekend. So um, I will see you then. Hope you have a great day. And if you like all things ballroom dance, subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow.